dnodoc HTML uh, generation um, on, on the Neo standard library, uh, which contains a lot of modules here. Um, let's try to generate documentation for the HTTP module here. So I'm going to do dnodoc dash dash HTML, then define a name std HTTP and generated for the HTTP mod TS. Uh, Dino just written 77 files to the docs directory. So let me start a simple file server and visit this web page. And now let's visit the docs directory. There we go. Uh, this is generated by Dino Doc. As you can see, all of the exported symbols are visible here. Uh, we can drill down into each symbol, see the different overloads available, click on the um, types and symbols used in the various places. We can see the examples here. Um, yeah, how about we try something more interesting? Um, let's configure what we're going to do. I'm going to use std for the name. I'm going to define output generated docs. Uh, this will be the directory we will generate into. And this time I want to generate uh, docs for HTTP mod TS as well as assert mod TS. And maybe let's try to pass a glob here as well. So maybe testing uh, star star uh, mod TS. So Dino Doc will be able to expand these globs for us. Uh, keep in mind that I put them in quotes so that uh, th these globs are not expanded by my shell. Okay, we got it generated. This time it's 104 files. I'm going to start the file server once again and visit this web page. However, this time we're going to look into the generated docs directory. And there we go. We got the assert function here, which comes from the assert module. And we also have accept encodings, which we already seen in the HTTP module. Uh, actually, let's try to search for something. I think there's a symbol called status. So, uh, oh, I misspelled that. It's stats, but it still searches for status variable and status type. And it tells us which file these are defined in. So uh, the search is done completely client side and um, requires just a little bit of JavaScript. If your browser doesn't have JavaScript support, then the search won't be available and it will degrade gracefully. Um, all right, that's pretty much it. Hope you like this new feature. And if you have suggestions how this could be improved, um, we welcome any reports and PRs. Thanks.